Thirty years ago, the world's first global environmental treaty acknowledged climate change and the need to prevent dangerous human interference in the climate system. That treaty, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, or the UNFCCC, now has membership from almost every country in the world. And the annual conference of the parties, or COP, is when those member countries get together to decide what we should do about the threat of climate change. The biodiversity crisis and social justice are on the COP agenda, but the primary focus is going to be greenhouse gas emissions. Today, countries responsible for 98% of human greenhouse gas emissions have submitted plans to the UNFCCC. These plans outline nationally determined contributions, or NDCs, and how each country plans to reduce emissions. But we haven't fully agreed on the mechanisms to deliver those NDCs, or determine who pays. Should it be the biggest polluters, particular countries or specific industries? Who needs the money the most and how should it be allocated and prioritized? The agreements made at COP influence the global economy. Frameworks evolve, large investor groups respond, code of ethics get updated and businesses take direction. Alignment between public and private sector is crucial. Governments alone cannot achieve the pace and scale of innovation climate change mitigation measures and the changes in political focus that we so desperately need. And while the best businesses are already leading the way, all companies must now factor in shareholder and or public expectations, as well as national and international contexts into their plans. There are some of the most important discussions defining the fate of our planet. The world is urgently calling for action and COP is the stage for the international community to respond.